Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. If you're ready to kill it in 2024 and you want to destroy it, you want to watch this entire podcast, we're going to talk about proximity and being around the right people and how truly to find your purpose to build a life that no one ever believed you could have. Check this out. Strangers around me. I don't know who to trust. Gotta ground me. I could feel adrenaline. My heart's pounding. The enemies all around me. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. I'm here today with my boys. And by the way, they'll introduce themselves here in a minute. You guys have probably seen me run with Aaron right here. I call him Big AA Ron, right? Big Aaron, he's always with me everywhere I go. You know why? Because he's my twin brother from another mother. He's 44 years old. We're the exact same. Except he's just way bigger than me. And, um, But um, at the end of the day, um, today we're going to talk about proximity and I want to talk about being around the right people and I want to talk about how if you want to create a life that counts and that matters and I want to say something, okay? I I see a lot of people and they're losing life. They're not, by the way, listen, there's a difference between living life and then looking like you're dead and being alive, okay? My eyes, I'm always lit up. If you guys see me, every time I talk to you, you always see that I'm, I'm super excited about life. I'm inspired. You know, it's just like, I'm so freaking hungry. I know my why. I know why I'm, why I'm doing what I'm doing. I know why I'm alive. I know what my purpose is. I know what I'm after and I know what I'm pursuing. I'm constantly envisioning the future. I think literally like if you're in the present right now, but you, you can't think about what you want in the future. Like you can't be alive. You can't be excited. You're dead. You're just going through the motion. I call it basically being present and being in prison. You're just here. You're just going through the motions and you really don't know what you want. That's why you're not doing anything better than just average. Because you don't actually know what you're after and you're not hungry for anything. Me, I know what my future looks like. I live in hope. Hope that I can achieve these things. I know what I want. I write the shit down. I study every day. I'm around good people. And and these are all things that you can do. And these are all choices that you guys can make. And because of that reason, I'm just so freaking grateful. And I'm going to tell you something. In the 1800s, I just went over this with my team in the meeting. In the 1800s, the average life expectancy of a person was to live to 40 years old. Dude, this is 200 years ago, bro. 40 years old. Could you imagine that? That means you'd be dead. You'd be dying now. You're 39. You'd be dead. I'd be dead. We wouldn't even be here. Why? But, but then our founding fathers, right? Like Thomas Jefferson and, and lots of those guys, they lived in the 1800s. They lived to uh, 80 to 90 years old. Okay, so listen to me. That would be like us three right now. The average life expectancy of a human right now is 72 to 78, right? Let's just say, but we all lived to 150. Could you imagine that? Why did our founding fathers, why did some people live longer than others? You know why? They had more hope. They had a bigger why. They could see the future. They knew what they wanted. They were inspired as shit. They were doing the work. They were hungry. They had purpose. They had fulfillment. So I just want to share this with you. If you want to live a long life, if you want your family, the people you love, wife, children, kids, teammates, the people that you're around to just, to just go to war with you every day and give you everything you got, you must be that light and you must bring that joy to all of them. And you must have, I would say, that leadership skill of telling people that, like, guys, the present, we need to be here, we need to be present, but we need to have hope in the future. What we're doing, what we're after, what we're accomplishing. And um, I just want to start out the, the podcast by just giving you some value that, like, if you're sitting there right now and you feel dead and you don't feel inspired and you're not hungry as shit, I would tell you that I want you to do one thing, and that's I want you to find where you can bring the greatest value to the world that will fulfill you. I want you to find the place that you belong, the place you need to be. Dude, just paying your bills, going to some of you are like, oh, I just got to, you know, pay my bills. I just got to, you know, I just, you don't understand. Shut your mouth. I do understand. But you're built for more. God made you for more. You literally can do whatever the hell you want, but you got to dream bigger. You got to think bigger. And you got to go back to studying. There's a book that I read. If anybody listening, write this down Be Your Future Self Now. Be Your Future Self Now. If you'll just order that book, Be Your Future Self Now, it was the greatest book I ever read. And it talks about the top threats of why people won't become who they should become. You've been reading it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, yeah. is that book not fire? Yeah. Dude, I'm reading the book and I just like, I'm just slapping myself. Bow! I'm like, damn it! Because I'm doing these things that I know are hurtful to me. And so it talks about the threats and then it talks about why you may not get to the next level in life, right? And, uh, and stuff like that. So anyways, uh, I'm going to pivot off this for a minute. Aaron, let's talk about how long have you been with me now? Ooh. 
Six seven, months? Seven months. Seven months. So seven Aaron's months. been with me seven months, but it yeah. feels like, what, 20 years? Uh, uh, yeah, it feels like I've been here forever. forever. It feels like he was born in the office. Um, I'm going to tell you why it feels that way. And then, and then I'm going to go to you. And you guys need to listen up to what we got with my man here in just a minute. And you're going to want to listen up. So anybody that's thinking they, they want to check out, you're an absolute idiot. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Okay. You need to listen. I'm, we're going to absolutely blow your mind. Okay. But Aaron, let, let's talk about um, how like it feels that you've been here forever, right? Which means everything that I just said about finding your future, finding your why, finding your purpose, right? Tell us since you've been with our company, right? Like, and, and go back to where you were before you were here. We're going to talk about normal life. Okay, let's talk about the normal world than here. So that's the power of proximity, being around the right people, people that are hungry. When we met, you didn't know what I was up to, but you can tell I'm up to something. Am I right? And you're like, dude, I want to be up to something too. So what do you do? You get around people that are up to something. And all of a sudden, and by the way, my intentions are good. Like I'm up to something good. So he's like, dude, I got to get, I got to get around this guy. Like something's going to happen. Did you even know what was going to happen? No, actually when I came here, I had, I had a thought in my mind of what we were going to do. And it became so much bigger than anything we even discussed because I think it really just came to the point of coming together. And then it just started to flourish into something because we have that energy together. We, we've got that same mindset. We've got that, that passion to, uh, to give back and help other people. And that, that for me is uh, like, I wanted to be up to something forever, but I was doing it either by myself or with the wrong people. And it always led me to a dead end. And then I had to back up, regroup, figure out what the next, uh, the next phase was. But since I've been here, everyone here is, is uh, uh, they thrive off purpose. And, and we're all coaches, we're all here to help other people. We're, we're here to uh, really make the, the biggest impact we can based, based on what we've been through in our lives. And for me with fitness, to come in here and to have this blank slate, this, this platform to, to really create something special and then to have the resources and have everyone who's like-minded to, to, to be all in together. Um, it's been the most fulfilling thing I've ever done. I mean, d well beyond Hollywood, well beyond the Marine Corps. Um, you know, the Marine Corps was, w was my place. It's where I, I learned so much about myself. And then when I left the Marine Corps, it, it was this empty shell that I was living in thinking that I was with the right people and that I knew where things were going. I, wanted, I, I always wanted to do something that's never been done. I never knew what it was, but I thought it was going to be in Hollywood. And the way I look at it now is Hollywood was a chapter that gave me street cred to prepare me for what we're about to do together next year, 2024. This is the, this is the build right here. Yeah, by the way, listen, you want to know how fast. Okay, you're all leaders. You're a leader. You're a leader. I'm a leader. Leaders make fast decisions. They make decisions. Losers can't make decisions. Winners make decisions. Whether they're right or wrong, they just make them. Like, they're, they're decisive people. One of the things you'll learn about me, I'm very decisive. When I know I want something, like when I met you, I'm like, oh, hey, we're doing this. This is what we're going to do. I'm like, bah, 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 bah. I like start rolling, right? When I met you, I met Aaron. He lives in Las Vegas. I met him at an event. What did I say? I said, oh, yeah, you got to get a plane flight. You're coming down right now. And you come see my office. You need to check out what we're doing. You see what's going on. So he came down. The second he came down, I was like, dude, you're going to work here. Yeah, I mean, like, you're living here. As a matter of fact, you're going to die here now. He's like, dude, what's, what are we talking about? I'm like, doesn't matter. You need to get your shit. We're going to sell everything you have. You're going to move here right now. We're going to get you a place, and, it's, and that's it. We're, we're done. He's like, hey, I need to talk about this. I'm like, we just did. You need to move here now. We're done. And he's like, dude, like, like, number one, no one's probably ever talked to me that way. And then number two, why do I believe this guy? Okay, I believe, I believe in a lot of things. I believe this is my, my format in life to success. Let me give you the blueprint. I believe spiritual. I believe you need to be close to God. I believe God can do things that you have no idea that can be done, and he will save you from situations and warn you and help you and guide you. And he's, he's our savior. He's amazing. Um, but I need you to know spiritual first. And then after spiritualness, who I found my identity, um, who I found like that I like, because I, I need to like me in order to have a big life. I can read all the self-help books I want. I can study the greats and I can get all that. But if I don't believe in me, I'm not going to do anything with any of that information. 
So I need to be close to God, number one, right? He gives me the power to do anything. Number two, um, I need to physically get in shape. And I learned that I was training all these people, and Aaron's obviously a savage in the gym. He's a killer. Trained The Rock, Zac Efron, Sylvester Sloan. Trained all these Hollywood guys. And he would go in and recreate people in a fast amount of time. And I, I trained business guys. And I'm like, damn, man. Um, we're training these people, but then they fall back off. You know, it's like they're, and then they're always like, oh man, it's like a cycle. Like they get excited, they get the blueprint to grow and then they fall back off and then they restart it again. It's the same cycle for years, but I keep growing. And I realized the reason why I was growing is because I stay close to God. Number two, number one, number two, I'm physically in the gym and I'm grinding every day. So I got a good relationship with me. I like me. And that makes me good for the people I'm around. It makes me good for my family, my wife, and my kids. It makes me good for myself. I'm not like, I'm not getting angry like I, like I could get, you know, because we're in high stress business, right? Like, you know, you're in, like, you know, you want to get triggered. It's like, no, I'm not getting triggered no more. I think to think about stuff. I, I have a good relationship with me. I'm being good to me. And because I love myself, I can give everybody else lots of love because you can't give somebody something you don't have. You can't go around and try to be good to everybody and really internally you're talking bad to yourself. Eventually you're going to crack. You're going to lose everything you have. So I believe in, in spiritual and then physical and then mental. I got to stay mentally strong. Everybody's breaking mentally. Okay. And then business. And then the business just blows up. But you, you, you live in purpose, right? And, and what you just said leads me to the biggest obstacle with fitness is everyone is motivated and excited at the beginning because it's something new. But you have to look at it as, dude, it, it's a marathon. It's not a, it's not a sprint. You can, you can sprint for the first month, but you're going to fall. You're going to, as, as with anyone, you're going to slowly fade off. It's like you got to be in for the long haul and know that there's no magic pill to it. it it's going to take everything you have. It's got to take commitment, which is going to have to be a belief in yourself that you know you can follow through with it. And I, I say when people get on a program that within 90 days, you should come out of that 90 days looking at it as, a lifestyle habit shift. This is no longer a program, this is your new lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But you have to look at the program you're getting into, whatever it is with whoever it is, that you need, to, you need to think about it like you need to take the entire year to devote to transforming yourself because there's gonna be so many obstacles that are gonna come your way every day, every week, every month, all year long that are gonna try and derail you. You're gonna meet people who are gonna try and throw you off course. You're going to meet people who are going to try and tell you, hey, did you try this? Did you try this? Did you try this? You have to be grounded in what, you, what you're doing, and you have to be doing it because you believe and it works. So if it's with me or with you or, or with you, whoever it is, you have to be on board with that person fully committed to, to succeed. Yeah, you're saying you have to commit long term. Long term. Yeah, yeah. And I think that I, I want to tell you the biggest power move that I have is that I'll do something and then I'll do it longer than anyone else, right? Because... You said anybody can sprint out the gate, which means, Jaron, if me and you were sitting here, right, and we're in the same business and you go hard as hell, right, and I'm going hard as hell, well, really, it depends on who's going to go hard as hell the longest because someone's going to quit at some point. And my power move is I don't quit. My power move is I don't give up on people. And I'm going to tell you, Aaron, so well, let's go back to who you were before. Let's talk about Marine Corps. Got in when you were uh, 17, 18, 18 right? 18, yeah. 18. Um, let's talk about after you go through that, you come back, um, you literally have your life planned. Doesn't work that way. Everything falls apart. You end up homeless, right? Not, totally not on the plan. What saved you is your fitness. He's in the gym. He's grinding. He's staying sharp here. Even though everything else is falling apart, he's staying strong here. All of a sudden, Hollywood opportunity comes up. Boom. He's taking care of himself. Bam, now he's training all these Hollywood celebrities. He goes up, but then he realizes around fake-ass people. I mean, how many of you guys right now, you, you wanted to be around someone in your life, and when you got around him, you realized you really didn't want to be around those kind of people anymore. And that's why I want you to become who you need to become. I want you to not be a fraud, be a badass son of a bitch. And what happened is, and then Aaron got out of that deal, and then when I found Aaron, Aaron was just getting back into self-development. He's doing all this, and I saw him. I'm like, dude, this guy is going to build out the Elliott Army Fitness Division massive. I'm going to make him the fitness king. He is. He understands everything. Dude, he, I, I, there's this person with Crohn's disease, right, that, that's having all these problems. Aaron literally gets involved with the science of dieting and food and all this. Boom, cures your stuff. It's not just like getting a six-pack and, you know, six-pack or you're fired. It's, it's raising your standards, but also he helps with people that are sick and injured and all kinds of stuff. Like this dude's a machine here. 
And so I love that. So I'm like, if somebody's going to build my fitness division, division, it's somebody who's very highly educated, but who's obsessed. This fool's obsessed with fitness. He's obsessed with it. And I love that because anybody watching this, his purpose is fitness. His pertinent purpose is he loves fitness for himself because it makes him who he is. And it's something that when you love something, you don't want to share it with anybody else. You're like, this is mine. This, I don't want to share. He wants to share it now with everybody else because he wants everybody else to feel the same way that he feels about himself. Isn't that cool? That's called purpose. He knows what his future looks like. He's building now. Right now, he's building all this stuff. we got an Elliott Army Fitness Division launch that's coming. It's phase two that's about to release. Dude, I watched the book that he just put together. Just holding the book made me want to punch somebody in the face. I'm just like, dude, this shit should not end up in everybody's hands because we're going to have some swole, jacked, ripped son of a bitches all around the world. But then I'm like, that's what I want. So we're building this cool shit. So um, let's talk about Jaron right now. Okay, Jaron, tell us a little bit about your family. So uh, my name is Jaron Grimm, born and raised in South Phoenix. Uh, definitely knew I wanted to get out from the current situation that I was in at the time. Uh, my grandmother, my dad raised me. I uh, grew up with my two sisters, went to college. Um, You're married, right? Yes, sir. Married to a, a yep, wonderful nurse. She's a nighttime nurse. I have a seven-year-old daughter. She just broke her arm yesterday. I have a one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, and they're amazing. My family's everything to me. Um, then after I went to school, I got the vision. I wanted to start doing crime scene work and get in forensics, and, of course, everyone's watched CSI. What did what, you go to school for? So I went for art, uh, graphic design, fine arts. Then I went into criminal justice and forensics and just compiled all these degrees, and now I use them all. So I hear most people that go to college, like 80% of them don't use their college degree in their field. Every degree I have, I found a purpose for it, for sure. So I went the education route. Now I do crime scene and forensics. Then I also started a business. Yeah. Let's, let's, show, let's show Aaron what we, what we put together. All right. So I run and own a firearms customization business. There you go, sir. Oh, shit. Holy shit, dude. You got the front, the back, underneath, the top. There's a lot of detail on there. That's incredible. You guys can't see that. Elliot Army, the Elliot Group. Holy shit. Got some stuff right here, the front, the back. It's got Marine Corps, American flag. This is incredible. Thank you. Thank you. It was, it was an honor. Sir, I started being pointed at you. Brothers for What's life. Brothers for fucking life. Brothers for life. Then we got your dog tag on the back with your last name. First Battalion, Second Marine. Then the slogan for the Marines on the front of the, the frame. Then, of course, we have this. Andy, you want to make sure you have that on there? Dude, that is so crazy. What is that? That's when we met. It's the day we met, big dog. The day you're born, the day you die, and the day your life changes forever. You know what I'm saying? This is important. I'm pretty speechless, honestly. Thank you. Like, seriously, this is a, this is a crazy gift. Well, let me tell you something. I love this. Anybody right now, um, I want you to think about someone in your life that you love, right? But I want you to think about somebody in your life and you're loving. Jaron, I want you to tell. Um, I'm, I'm going to put some slides up here of some of the stuff that you do, some of the work that you do. I'm going to put some of your pictures on the, on the, on the, on the podcast. But... Tell us a little bit about, I know why we did this with Aaron. I, I want everybody to think about somebody that's special and that's important in their life, right? Dude, number one, um, this is something that he'll keep until he dies. And he'll always look at it and he'll remember who he is, what he stands for. He'll remember, you know, this time that we spend together, how much our relationship means. You know, whether you got a daughter, a son, a wife, a husband, um, a coworker, right? I mean, anything, right? Um, you customize these guns and you make these these guns special for people for people that they love is that right
Hey guys, if you're ready to level up and crush it and kill it, I'm gonna tell you what to do. Put it on the calendar, January 15th, my wife is releasing her YouTube channel, Jacqueline Elliott. My wife is the backbone of our company. She's the CEO of the Elliott Group. She has wrote all the sales training. I have just been the face. She is coming out into the open from how we have a badass marriage to raising our children while we have a nine figure business and killing it to leading our sales team and ultimately just crushing and killing it in life. If you're ready to level up, if you follow me and you're a man, you want to know what she knows. It will make you the baddest ass man that's ever lived. And also, if you're a woman, get your wife on this. If you watch this and you're a lady and you want to crush it and kill it, you want to make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. So men and women, if you're ready for the greatest training Training that was ever released, the greatest self-development from the greatest CEO that's ever lived, Jacqueline Elliott, January 15th. Be on the lookout. It's going to be game changing. Definitely. Um, so when I got into this business, I wanted something for myself. And the guy, the guy, the business I reached out to told me a 15 month wait list. And I was like, huh, I'm in the wrong business. So I looked into getting my FFL uh, permits. Got all that situated. I already had the art background, the graphic design background. Now I had to get lasers. Now I had to get nickel and gold plating system. I had to learn how to polish to a mirror. So to go from a, a Glock surface like that to a mirror is a lot of work. Um, so I was just motivated. So I'd go to work, come home, work on perfecting my craft. And eventually word got out little by little. And what I really love doing is meeting with people and putting something that they really love on their firearms. I know a lot of times firearms get the wrong rap, but when you turn something like this into an aesthetically pleasing firearm, it's, it's an art piece. It is. And there's a lot of feelings and emotions involved, and that's what I love doing. So when I met you and you gave me the opportunity, hey, you know, let's do something for Aaron, I was honored. So If somebody wants to reach out to you, how do they get a hold of you? Because, listen, I'm going to tell you this. A lot of our people, they work their ass off. Okay, and they they have someone they love and they want to show them some appreciation. They bought them necklaces. They bought them rings. They've taken them on vacations. They take them trip. But I promise you, no one has built a, a custom firearm. Um, how does someone reach out to you if they want to build something badass like this for someone that they love? Yeah, definitely. So uh, my email, jgrim at B-L-O-U creations dot com. Also, I have an Instagram, B-L-O-U creations. Do you check your DMs on Instagram? Yes, sir. Okay, so t give me your Instagram. That's, that's a so, way, it's easy for someone yeah, to Yeah, so out. Instagram is... Email's uh, like fucking 1980 and yeah. shit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding. But give me your DM because yeah, I know... Sure. So so what's your Instagram handle? So it's uh, B-L-O-U creations LLC. And the reason why it's B-L-O-U... B-L-O-U creations yes, LLC. Yes, sir. And b Lou's after my grandmother, Betty Lou. She raised me. So made the business in honor of her. Uh, but now the, the company's transitioning into Bilu Yamas, L-L-A-M-A-S dot com. So that'll, that website will be up and running soon. So someone can go to Instagram right now. We'll put the handle up, okay, so people can find it. And then they just need to DM you, yep. right, and just send your, th their name and their phone number yep. and then say, let's set up a call. Yeah, definitely. And as soon as we, uh, we stay in communication, they'll let me know all their ideas, what type of firearm they have. Yeah, how does that work? I'll send them a mock-up. Okay. So they reach out to me, they let me know the firearm. Together we work on a, a design that they would love on the firearm, see if, it, uh, if they want gold-plated, nickel-plated, yeah, you, you, you do sell guns, there's a lot of paperwork involved, but what you recommend is a lot of people will get a, tell you what they want and either they can purchase a new firearm or do it on a, an existing firearm, is that correct? E exactly, Elliot. So, uh, Two avenues. Because a lot of people have firearms that mean something to them, and they're like, this is the one I want to use. Yes, and then you'll figure out the best way to handle that one. Or it could be like this one. Um, you know, Aaron's got a million guns, but we wanted something that we could have a lot of space on. For sure. yeah, and, and, and what kind of gun is this? What is this right here? So that's a Glock 47 uh, MOS. And, and, and we chose this gun, uh, the Glock 47 MOS, is because it has a lot of area exactly. to work on. Exactly, a lot of canvas to work on. Uh, the more canvas, the better. Um, as you mentioned, some firearms just don't give you the capability of yeah, so doing all can, that can, can choose one depending on what they want to put in, or they can give you an existing one, and then you create a mock-up on that weapon, the things that they want. The, you know, this is pretty. I don't. This is pretty amazing. You know, I mean, look, guys, I've got a lion head on here. So much detail. So much detail. I've got a lion head. The Elliot Group. I mean, I've got a lion here. We've got the American flag here. Um, we've got Elliot Army with this exact logo of our company. 
we literally have brothers for life, have another lion here, another lion here. I mean, even the handle. This is crazy that you can do this to this handle. I mean, because this handle is is plastic. It's got Aaron's dog tag on the backside of it. I mean, you know, and you said at the bottom of the clip, we put the day that, that we met. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, it says reborn. You know what I'm saying? That's the reborn. That's the words Andy wanted. I did exactly what he said. He was reborn April 28th of 2023. That that right there, this this reborn date and, and prior everything to it is is a, a, a podcast on its own. Yeah, yeah, but but see, but see what he said is he goes these things they they're sentimental they mean something. There's a lot of motion in these guns. Okay, this is important that um, you understand that a lot of people they run out of ideas. I like being creative. I'm an artist. I'm a creator. I'm a visionary, and I'm always thinking. You know what? What can I get for somebody that means something to me that they've never had? I assure you, no one that you care about and love has a custom firearm that you made for them. And by the way, they may never even use a firearm. They may put it up in in a, a glass cabinet and just remember that you made that for them. But no one else will ever get them something like that. So I love the customization that you do. And dude, it is badass. If you guys were here at personal and presence, I just showed it to my team before we did this podcast. And everybody's like, okay, sign me up. All right, I'm getting one. Let's go. And every, I mean, like, dude, he just took 20 orders in two seconds just from the guys that just saw him open this bag. I've seen the other firearms you make. By the way, um, give, give your Instagram handle one more time. Because I because I know this. There's going to be hundreds of people that want to reach out and do business with you. And guys, these guns, you're, you're not spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. I was talking to them, you know, depending on how crazy you want to get with, with after the gun is purchased and you have a gun, you could spend anywhere from two to four grand. Depends on what you want to do. And obviously, the kind of material you're using and stuff. But these guns are priceless. I mean, they're priceless. It's a, time piece. It's a fucking timepiece. It's crazy, man. And, you know, I mean, I want to get my wife one. I want to get my kids one now. I want to get them all one. Because, dude, when I'm gone, that gun's still going to be around. Family heirloom. Dude, think about this right now, guys. Family heirloom. I love that you said that because I think that people don't think that way anymore. They spend their money in things that won't last. This thing will be around. I bet this thing will be around for probably a couple hundred years. And it'll just go. And, it, and, and who will have it when Aaron's done will be somebody that means something to Aaron. And that person will never sell that. They'll never get rid of it. They'll never do anything. Uh, um, a good friend of mine, is, is, his name's Keaton Hoskins, right? And um, there's a guy named Rob Bailey. I love his music, badass. Well, Keaton Hoskins bought Rob Bailey um, uh, a watch. And uh, it was like a 50 grand, 100 grand watch or something. Badass. But on the back of it, he put happy birthday. And he engraved happy birthday, happy 40th birthday, Rob Bailey. Okay? And he just, he had his, his signature on it. And dude, he's like, everybody's like dude why would you do that on the back of that watch now now you can never sell it he's like it's dude he's gonna die in this watch this watch is not for sale this this watch is not made to be sold i didn't give him uh, a 50 or hundred thousand dollar watch to one day if he gets in trouble go sell it if he needs cash this watch what it means is that we are brothers for life we're best friends and this shit isn't for sale does, does that make sense and that's what I love about this, because when you decide to do this stuff, these things are no longer for sale. People sell guns all the time. People get in trouble. People lose. People don't lose stuff like this. People keep shit like this forever. When's the last time anybody's ever received a present and they didn't lose it? I mean, most people lose their shit. Truly, they misplace it. People don't misplace stuff like this. They take it very personal because it means a lot to them. So how, how, how do people reach out to you again? Tell us one more time. So once again, Instagram, uh, B-L-O-U, Creations, L-L-C. And people can DM you. And I'm also going to make a badass Instagram reel, and I'll tag you with it on here. Um, but on this podcast, we'll have 50, you know, 50 million people will see this podcast. And the cool thing about it is, is that most of them have somebody they love, and they haven't been creative, thought outside the box, and they want to create a cool piece. Let's talk about that for a minute, like customization. You, you do. I saw some of the gold guns that you do. Some This is a, a nickel-plated gun. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, so nickel plate. Yeah, talk to us a little bit about how, how, some of the customizations you've done. Dude, I've seen white guns. I've seen some of the craziest shit, man. Like, I want everything you've made. I see it all. I'm like, dude, can I get that one? Can I buy that one? Can I get this one? Because it all looks like the coolest stuff in the world, you know? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, so uh, how the process works is uh, I'll, I'll receive the firearm from the person. I'll photo it, I'll dismantle it, I'll do some rendering, some mock-ups of what the client wants. Then the options are they could Cerakote, which is ceramic paint, uh, especially for firearms. Any color they want, mm -hmm. Cerakote. So dot any color. You can do pink for a chick. Exactly. Whatever you want. Exactly. Okay, then, I love it. As far as My the, daughter wants a pink one. I already know. <laughs> yeah. She's like, Dad, I want your G-Wagon, but 
and lifted. That's awesome. <laughs> so as far as the steel components, uh, can nickel plate, gold plate, eventually rose gold and things of that nature. But for right now, it's 24 karat gold plating and nickel plating and mirror polishing beforehand to get that mirror look. Yeah. So basically, you can do whatever the hell anybody wants to do. And if somebody can come up with a vision, you'll create it since you're in art, which is cool. You're in drafting and art and all that stuff. You can literally go put together exactly what the pistols are, which is what he sent me. He sent me a mock-up, and I was like, dude, this gun is sick. And then literally, you just take it and you make it happen. And, and it's funny, too. Uh, my first firearm I ever did was a, was an AK Micro Draco, which is pretty long. A lot of components had to derivate it, take it apart, polish it, re-rivet it. That was my first gun, and I was like, I don't know what I'm getting into. It was a lot of work, a lot of work, um, but definitely a, a, a learning a learning process. Well, and I've seen sure. you restore old guns. Yeah. Right? Can we talk about that? Like, because you talk about these family heirlooms. Like, this is a brand new gun. We bought it in the box. We did the work on it. But a lot of people, I've seen you restore old guns, right? Like, things that mean a lot to people that were like grandpa, 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 old guns. And then you go through and you you, you, you take care of these, right? Yeah, 100%. Um, like a lot of people, they're getting into watching, uh, you know, home flipping or car restorations. Guns are amazing what they look like before and after when the right work is applied. Yeah. So yeah, currently I'm working on a 19, I think it's circa 1986, 85. It was all rusted. So I got that from a pawn shop and currently it's been restored and eventually it'll be fully engraved, gold plated. You'll never know. That shit looks like 2024, brand new on the shelf, badass and worth all the dough. The cool thing is, um, these kind of guns, I just want you to think about it. Just do me a favor. Think about it. So who's someone in your life, right? Boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, grandpa, dad, mom, right? Brother, best friend, um, somebody that you're like, dude, what can I do that would create something that they would never forget? Like, who's somebody right now that you feel like you just owe them because they've, they've changed your life? Trust me, you need to get them one of these. Aaron, how do you feel after seeing this gun? No bullshit. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I, I'm 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 literally speechless. Like this is this is a, uh, I, I I won't even use this. <laughs> like this is gonna go on a on a shelf, with all my special memorabilia right here. Like this is just. I see why you're being so secretive. Now. I'm like, what does he do? He's like, you'll, you'll see, you'll, you'll find. Yeah. So, so Aaron, Aaron worked uh, in the White House, right? With like uh, Pentagon. In the Pentagon, right? Yeah. With, uh, with General Pace. General Pace, yeah. Yeah, he was like his General Pace, like bodyguard, right next to him all the time. Like he's like top secret, has all the shit. And I'm like, I'm like, hey, meet Jaron. And he's like, what does Jaron do? And I'm like, <laughs> I can feel the heat too. Yeah. Like, well, Aaron's like, so what does he do? So I'm like, top secret. Aaron's like. Like, what kind of top secret? Like, Aaron's trying to figure out, but we didn't want to tell him that he specializes in building guns and all this shit because about two months ago, I made Aaron uh, go buy a gun. I just said, hey, Aaron, do me a favor. Um, I think me and you, you told me what has a good space on the handles, right? And uh, what kind of gun is this? The Glock 47 MOS. It's an MOS. It's a new model gun, right? MOS, but it's got a lot of space on the canvas. Yeah, right? I believe that model was for the Border Patrol, and in January, it was released to the public. Yeah, and you were like, dude, this one's got a lot of space because I wanted to put a lot of stuff on there. Some people don't, some people do. Um, and I was like, okay, because I remember I had your gun, and I was like, well, we need. I needed. I had a lot I wanted to put on there. We had a lot of ideas, so I was like, what do you suggest? And by the way, he, you also guide people, like if what you're wanting to do. This is what you should do, man, woman, whatever. And um, anyway, so I said, Aaron, you need to go buy this gun today and then drop it off to me. And Aaron's like. Okay, you know, because I don't tell him to do stuff that he doesn't need to do because I want to make sure the gun was registered in his name, want to make sure it was his gun. You know, I didn't want to buy it and then give it over to him and all that stuff. I just wanted to make it easy. Let him go buy it, let it register, then I was just going to take it. And then I handed it over to you. You do the work on it. You got permission to do the work. Boom, we hand it back to Aaron. Now it's registered. It's all set up. It's, it's very simple. It's very easy. Um, dude, but it's so cool. When, when I was talking to Jaron and I met him, and I was like, dude, I'm like, this is crazy, man. I mean, like, these guns look like $20,000 guns. And, and, and I mean it. Like, because you can't imagine all the detail and all the work. I mean, even in the handle. Like, I don't know how. This is plastic, right? 
polymer? I mean, I mean, how did, I mean, this is like, you custom did all this? Like just the handle alone is freaking crazy, dude. How, how you set all this up. I mean, so like, I, I don't even, I don't even think that this stuff was like possible. And by the way, listen, I love that you're, um, you're, you're doing a lot of custom work for a lot of people. I'm going to tell you guys why you want to reach out and DM him right now. Um, you're just getting, and I'm not going to say you're just getting into this, but the last couple of years you've been doing this, you're just getting big, fast. You're growing quickly. As people grow quickly, the bigger they get, the more expensive they get. So if you're looking right now to really get a beautiful, great piece, um, now's the time you want to reach out to him. And I would tell you, I'm blown away. You've obviously seen my man Aaron right here, which said I'm speechless. Okay, what does that mean? That means, man, somebody loves you. Somebody's taking care of you. Somebody's been good to you. Let's let's give them something cool, right? Let's let, let's take care of people that have taken care of us, and whether they're interested in firearms or not, right? Like it's irrelevant about Aaron how he feels about firearms. This is something that people are like, damn, man, this is like, this is cool. I may not ever even shoot a gun in my life. Well, I don't. Can can they even can you, they even see this oh, really? I'm going to put the photos. Camera? Yeah, I'm going to put photos of it. Up There's here. just so much. Yeah. Well, some of your work. As we've talked, I'm going to put photos and slides of all that stuff on this. So when we're done, I'll have Sean make sure he puts a bunch of it up and a bunch of your work, okay? And um, I just want to tell you guys, um, hope today, you know, you've thought about, all right, man, you know, let, let me go and take care of someone who's taking care of me. And I think you guys need to reach out to my boy, Jaron. He's badass. He's, he's a killer. Literally, this stuff is insane. Um, and... I also want you to get ready for war in 2024. At the time we're shooting this, it's uh, December 21st, right? Something like that. I don't even know what day it is. Um, but we're rolling into Christmas and the new year. And, you know, I think about all these people that, you know, this is the time of year where they start thinking about, you know, and they feel grateful. They feel hope. They feel this. Guys, I feel that all year long. Um, you know, I want you to feel that all year long. They start thinking about what am I going to do different for next year? Guys, you need to think about every day. What am I going to do different? What am I going to do to keep, you know, my edge? What am I going to do to stay fulfilled? You know, don't let the light leave your eyes. That's why you must stay, you know, in your purpose. What is your purpose? You know, what, what is it? You know, Aaron loves fitness, right? Like fitness is his deal. Now, by the way, you know, it could be family. It can be all kinds of other things too. But, but Aaron's, Aaron's purpose is to share fitness with the world. He wants to get a lot of people in great shape. Jaron's goal right now in his heart is to create these family heirlooms or, or just cool pieces for people. But really, a lot of these are sentimental with people. That's why they're making them. They mean a lot to people. Um, you can fire them all the time, but a lot of people probably don't fire them a lot because they're just, they mean a lot to them. And it's just like, dude, I want this and I want to make somebody feel a certain way or this means a lot to me, so I want that for myself. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I love that. And dude, it is so freaking cool. And then I just want to tell you guys, the life that I've built and the life that I have, I would tell you that it's totally undeserved. Um, I don't deserve it. But you know what? I had the courage uh, to change. I had the courage to sit down and study for an hour a day, take in new information, surround myself with better people, and to truly believe in myself that I was capable of a bigger life than I have. And I was capable of creating more impact in, in the world. And I don't think a lot of people um, will see value in you when you start to do that because there's no evidence that you're going to do any of those things that you want to do now. But you must see value in yourself. And I saw value in me and Jaron before I blew up and I do all this stuff. I thought, man, hey, I'm going to do something big. Um, I, I didn't have evidence that I could do anything on that scale either. Um, you don't have evidence that, you know, you can take over the world with the gun space, but you are. And it's going to happen and you're going to have to believe that and you need to have that hope. And, you know, I, I'm going to make Aaron one of the biggest or Aaron's going to make himself that because he's a badass. And we're going to take what Aaron knows and the way he can transform bodies. And we're going to have Aaron take over the entire fitness space and change millions of people's lives. Um, and there's a lot of other people that are also going to do what you're doing. But I hope to be so great at what I do. It inspires those that do what I do to be like, damn, that son of a bitch leveled up again. And I want them to keep doing what they're doing because there's 10 billion people in this world. So we need all those people to get help. So the other guys that are making guns against you, as much as you're saying, you know, hey, man, compete against me, you know, I'll burn your eyes out. Also, you're like, dude, hey, good job. Keep it up, man. I love what you're doing. But also you're like, but I'm going to still make sure I'm on top. You know what I'm saying? And that's the same thing with Aaron. Aaron's constantly figuring out not how to just get people six packs who are or get people who are skinny to have muscle, but also how to cure people that have like physical, like internal problems that are unhealthy and get them back to health through exercise and, and, and food. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, this guy's a wizard. And, and, and none of it, you know, really takes very long. 
like just a couple months of feeding your stuff good, yourself good affirmations, good manifestations, good studying, good being around the right people, dude, bam, all of a sudden you start blowing up, you're crushing it and killing it, you're taking over the world, you got a name for yourself, and then you just never become ungrounded and just stay on the mission, you know what I'm saying? You know, in the beginning when people start to do work, I, I see that they commonly do it for money because they need to pay their bills, because they need to prove that they can create a business or that they can learn how to make money. So whether you work for someone else or work for yourself, the goal is, is to make sure that it's bigger than that. Because if it's ever just about money, you're never going to be more than just money. And money is transactional and relationships, which is relational, is truly how you create your business to be legendary or someone else's business is if you're growing their business. You know, if I worked for you, I would make sure that I was growing your business and telling everybody how magical and amazing it is and how special it is and how these pieces make people feel and what would it be worth, you know, the, the, the way Aaron feels when he gets this, it's priceless. Um, I could buy him a watch, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's cool, but this is cooler. You know, I could, I could take him on a vacation, but that vacation is going to be over in a week and he'll remember the memory, but this he can hold forever. It's just like, it's just like super cool. So I want to really um, give you some, um, to some exposure today to all of our people that are like, man, I want to do something cool for someone I love, or I just want to do something cool for me. I've worked my ass off. Um, I want something cool. Okay. Make sure you guys reach out to Jaron. Okay. Make sure you do that. Trust me, dude. It's, it's going to take time. And I notice you turn these pieces around pretty quick. Yeah, definitely. Uh, depending on the model. So this is a Glock, obviously, but I've, I've done 1911s too. 1911s have a lot of different steel components. It takes a little longer. I tell people from the time of receiving the firearm, it could take two weeks. Now it's looking like more like three weeks or a month. Yeah, um, but that's fast, man. I mean, notice, he was saying, dude, like I, I had some work done, and the guy's like, it's going to be 14 months. Dude, when people can turn shit around in a month, that's just crazy, man. So anyways, make sure you guys hit up Jaron. Make sure you guys create something cool for someone you love. Give him your ideas. He'll take care of you. He's awesome. Uh, you guys will obviously have seen a bunch of close-up shots from this gun from there. And then Aaron, we love you. Jaron made this for you. Dude, Thanks, brother. dude, seriously, thank you. No doubt. It was an honor. Yeah, it's cool shit. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Let's go kill it. Let's crush it. Make sure you hit up my boy, Jaron. And then me and Aaron, you'll see a lot of us because we're going to be dropping some badass fitness stuff in 2024. Hey, no, no, no New Year's resolutions. This is the time to change. It's a critical time in history. If you don't recreate yourself next year. Well, you're going to miss out on your greatest part of life. It's, yeah. Yeah, reinvent yourself every day. And, uh, and I think that, you know, you got to be around people that actually believe that you can reinvent yourself. And I, that's this channel. That's all we tell you guys. It's not about who you are. It's about who you're becoming. In the Bible, it says the old is gone, the new is coming. It's just, it's just that simple, dude. Like, I don't give a shit what you did yesterday. I don't care what kind of shame you have. I don't care who you disappointed. I don't care who hates you. The question is, can you get back to the center of believing that you are worth it? Never go, can you? Never go backward. Yeah, yeah, and if you can get back to that, well, then you can plug into somebody that can help feed you and help learn and teach you to learn how to navigate your mind and process through troubles and, and adversity and, and tribulations and problems. Do we, had, we had Sheriff Lamb on here. I'll just say this real quick. We had Sheriff Lamb on here yesterday, and I was talking to him. You know, I love his crazy ass, right? He was showing me videos of them, like, chasing people down and shit, and, you know, he's like, do we need, like, a high-speed pursuit last night where they chase these cats through the woods? And he's, but he was showing me videos of all these things, and... And he's like, you know, I love, I love my life. I love what I do. I, I, I uh, but I was, we were talking about like trauma and chaos and, and, and what they see last year, his son, his middle son, Cooper, uh, uh got killed by a drunk driver. And so did his, uh, his, it was Cooper, his wife and their 11 month old daughter. And when that happened, he goes, I had a choice, Andy, to get crushed. And this man that I said I was my whole life. Um, just crumble in front of the whole world and, and my family. I've got four other kids now. One's gone. He goes, or I could rise and make my son proud of the father and be good to my other four kids, be good to the rest of my grandkids, show the world that things are going to happen, and they're unfair. This is something I couldn't control. I can't control a drunk driver hitting my family. I can't control it. So since I can't control that, I can control how I behave and how I act and how I show people in the rest of the world the example of how to be a leader. And I'm hurt. But hurt people hurt people. And I don't want to hurt nobody. He said, I just want to be a better person. And I sat there and listened to that. And I just said, God, man. I, I mean, I can't even imagine. You talk about the, the true test. Imagine something happened to one of your daughters. What would happen? 
Well, this man sat here and he showed us what's happened. He ran for Senate afterwards. He wanted to continue to inspire people. And uh, he's, he's a real leader. He's a real true leader, tried, tested, and proven. And he carries a great attitude. And he says, it's my job to bring good shit to my family. And I'm not going to back off. I'm not going to do it. I don't. My son in heaven would be disappointed in me if I fell apart. And I'm not going to disappoint him. I know I'll be with them soon, so I'm just I'm gonna live out the rest of my days and I'm gonna I'm gonna change people's lives. That's the motherfucking shit I'm talking about. So I pray, I pray to have the courage that that man had. And I pray as we're talking, we're not just running our mouth, that we're really trying our hardest to become great, to make impact, to make purpose, to live a fulfilled life, to understand our why, because we're all gonna have a day that something's gonna come, okay? And or we won't be here anymore. And the people that we love when we're gone will need to remember the way that we lived or they won't remember the way that we lived. So that's the reason why we got to wake the fuck up. You know what I mean? So I love you guys. We ended that with a little bit of bang. And uh, let's go kill it. 2024, this is our year, guys. Like Aaron said, level up. Make sure you hit up your boy, Jaron. Get somebody you love a cool piece. Get yourself a cool piece. We'll see you guys next time. Let's go. Tell me what you think of the gun. Like what? What's going through your mind right now? Well, one, I've never had a customized weapon before, so this is a first. But if you look at the detail and how much meaning goes into it, when they gifted me this, I literally did not know what to say. I mean, it's, it's a literal speechless moment, right? But this has so much meaning to me because there are some very special pieces en engraved on here. Tell me about some of that. So 1st Battalion, 2nd Marines was my first unit when I joined the Marine Corps. Brothers for Life, Andy and I literal brothers and then when i met andy this is this is when a lot of things changed in the trajectory of this year and, and where it's going next year but there's just so many so many pieces on here you got the eagle globe and anchor so i talk about the marine corps being my salvation everything about this piece represents me what does it mean to you it's it's a time piece so what it means to me is I have someone who cares about me this much to have the thought to build something like this for me. It, it's, a, it's a priceless gift. Crazy, man. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.